What's up guys, you're welcome back to my channel where I talk about cryptocurrency, business and lifestyle and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Binance I actually have a video about how to use Binance on my channel but you know, Binance updates their interface and putting a lot of things every year so it's very important that this year, we we'll make another video where I'll be explaining to you step by step how to use Binance, how to trade on Binance, how to set your orders how to trade spots, how to trade futures, how to deposit, how to withdraw and every other important thing you need to learn about how to use Binance so this is going to be a long video stay tuned to the end of the video make sure you watch the video to the end make sure you get all the values I'll be sharing with you in this video and I promise you, you are going to enjoy it so in addition for the value I'm going to be giving in this video I will suggest that you click the like button so that a lot of people get to see this and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that whenever I post a new content You'll be the first person to see it. So let's get right into the video. So getting right into how you use Binance. The first thing you want to do, even though, as you can see my screen right now, I have logged into my Binance account. If you don't have a Binance account, the first thing you would want to do is that after you must have gone to www.binance.com and if you are in the US, you look at www.binance.us you sign up for an account and after signing up you log into your account and you have an interface like this the first thing you want to learn when it comes to using binance is how to buy bitcoin so how to buy crypto rather so how to buy crypto whether it is bitcoin ethereum or any crypto you want to buy that's the first thing you would want to know so now if you want to buy bitcoin on binance if you go here, you click on buy crypto and you have a few options. So the first thing that you want to change the currency here to your preferred currency. I, as I speak, I'm in Nigeria and I would want to buy crypto with the Nigerian Naira. So that's why I'm going to use the NGN as my currency. So once you click your currency or select your currency, it's going to give you the, the uh, ways by which you can buy crypto with that currency you have actually clicked so now if you are in nigeria and you're watching this from nigeria you can buy crypto in nigeria on binance using bank transfer credit or debit cards or from p2p trading even though i usually don't advise you buy crypto with your credit or debit card due to the limitations on the uh, monthly withdrawal limit or monthly limit or the limit on some of the Nigerian debit cards actually so I would advise that you either use this bank transfer or P2P trading so you just click on bank transfer so once you have this page you can deposit Nigerian just click on Nigerian and find bank transfer and you continue so once you continue, yeah, you are going to select your bank. Let's say, for example, you use GT Bank PLC. You put you put your account number, you put your email, and you activate. It. So that's how you you buy crypto using bank transfer in Nigeria. That's how you deposit using bank transfer. Then also you can use the P2P trading. P2P trading simply means peer-to-peer -peer trading. Which means that you connect with someone that has put up an offer on Binance for buying or selling cryptocurrency of any cryptocurrency of your choice. You agree to do it and you start a trade with that person. So far, the person has an offer that suits whatever amount you want to buy or sell. So on P2P trading platform on Binance, you can buy cryptocurrency and even also sell cryptocurrency of your choice. Or the cryptocurrencies that are available on the P2P platform, right? So this is the P2P platform of Binance. You can buy. You can see this buy. This is sell, and this is USD. You can you can switch it to BTC, or BUSD, or BNB, or Ethereum, or Nigerian Naira, or Solana. You switch it to any of these coins you want to buy or sell. Look at the offers available and see if any of the offers suits what you want to want. You want to want to buy. And then you click on buy or sell whatever the case may be so now i actually have made another video on how to buy and sell on p2p and i'm going to put a link to that video 
in the description below so be sure to check that out if you want to learn how you can buy cryptocurrency using the p2p platform on binance so the p2p platform is one of the ways by which you buy cryptocurrency on binance so and, and i think p2p is one of the safest and the fastest way to buy and sell your cryptocurrency is the way i use a lot because sometimes it might be difficult to find people who want to sell to you directly and you might need crypto you might need to trade you might, need, you might find some setup that you want to trade immediately so it's safe to use p2p on binance to buy crypto in a very fast manner if you are in nigeria and if you are not in nigeria you can simply click on this icon and choose the country or the currency you want to buy yesterday you want to buy with us dollar you search for usd click on it and you you explore the options. you see the options available for you to if you are in rwanda you want to buy with rwanda franc just search for it and if you are in kenya you search for k and all these currencies so that's how it works basically so because the first thing you want to do whenever you sign into your binance account is to find a way to buy crypto you know you are signing up with an empty wallet with an empty account that needs to be funded for your trading activity so that's the first thing you want to do once you log into your binance page or you log into your binance account then after knowing how to buy crypto bitcoin or whatever crypto you want to buy on binance so let's talk about the wallet overview but it's actually an exchange and you know in the crypto market you have wallets and you have exchanges wallet is where is is an application that allows you to to save or store your cryptocurrency why an exchange is a platform that allows you to exchange your crypto from one to another or from from fiat currency or for example an exchange you can exchange from united states dollars to bitcoin and you can exchange your bitcoin back to united states dollar same way me that I'm in Nigeria right now, I can exchange my crypto to Nigerian Nera and exchange Nigerian Nera to crypto on the Binance platform. That's why we call it an exchange. It allows you to do an exchange from one coin to another, like exchanging BTC for Ethereum or BNB for BTC. Or it allows you to exchange from fiat currency to cryptocurrency. So when I say fiat currency, fiat currency simply means any any currency aside cryptocurrency like the US dollar, the Nigerian era, Korean shilling, Ghanaian CD, and all other currencies we spend in the world today. So having known how to how to buy crypto, then let's look at your wallet overview. So now I was talking about the difference between a wallet and exchange, but then all exchanges have wallets in them because the crypto you are buying must be stored somewhere in that action so all the changes have a wallet overview a place where you can you are able to like look at your wallet look at what you have as your balance uh deposit withdraw and do stuff like that so you have a wallet overview on your binance right here so just let me just try it again just go to this icon this icon that looks like a profile icon click on it and you see wallet so click on wallets you can see wallet overview so click on overview you are going to have the overview of your wallet on binance right here so you are going to see your balance here i've actually hidden the balance you can see all your balance and then what in about balance is that you have different wallets on balance the first is the fiat and spot wallet fiat and spot wallet simply means that a wallet where Whenever you want to do spot trading, whenever you want to do spot trading, that is the wallet where you will be able to access the funds that you want to use to do spot trading. And if you want to know more about spot trading, I have a video in the description. I have a video about spot trading, and I have dropped. I'm going to drop the link in the description below. So look out for the link so that you can understand what spot trading means and how you can do it. But then this wallet, this fiat and spot wallet, is a wallet where all the money all the cryptos of fiat that you have on spots on the spot trading platform of binance are stored 
So once you click on it, you are going to see the balance for spot trading. The next is the balance for the margin trading. Yeah, because we have different kind of trading on Binance, or let me say in the crypto market generally. So the balance for margin trading will be found under the margin trading wallet. Then if you trade futures, you are going to find the balance for your future trading activities on the future trading wallet. Just click on it and you are going to be able to access your wallet, your balance. Then some other options using bot funding wallet. Funding wallet simply means that the wallet where is a P2P wallet actually. P2P wallet is what we call funding wallet. You know when you buy crypto on P2P, there's the wallet is going to go into before you start moving it. So you can actually move funds or cryptocurrencies from one wallet to another. You can move from fiat wallet to margin wallet. You can move to mar from margin to fiat wallet. You can move from fiat to futures wallet. You can move back from futures to fiat and spot wallet. So you can actually move funds or cryptocurrencies from all these wallets to one another. So the way you can do that is by using I think the transfer icon, yes. So once you click on transfer, let me try it again so that I can see. This particular one, transfer, let's click on transfer. Then you see this pops up. Which country you want to transfer? I'm going to click it here. Let's say BTC, for example. You click on Bitcoin, you're going to see your balance here. I don't have a Bitcoin balance right here. But then you are going to click on BTC. Then from which wallet to which wallet? This is from Fiat and Sport. To futures, and you can select options here. You can send to margin, to coin M futures, to funding, to isolated margin, and like that. And where are you sending from? You can also select. You understand? So that is how you move cryptocurrencies from one type of wallet on your Binance to another. So let's say you just bought bought coin on P2P on your P2P platform. Let's say you just bought coin on your P2P platform. You are going to move the coin from your pit and you want to use it to trade futures. So you just go to transfer and move it from P2P, which is called funding wallet, to you move it to futures wallet. Let's assume you want to use that fund or that crypto to trade spots. You're just going to move it from P2P to spot wallet, and that is how. You do it for any other wallet you want to use on your Binance wallet interface or overview. So that is basically how to use your wallet on Binance. But then, when you have this one, there are some other things you might want to do on your wallet. Let's say you have traded, you've taken some trades, and you made some reasonable amount of money. One of the things you want to do is to withdraw. So let's say you want to withdraw from your Binance to another wallet, an external wallet, maybe another Binance wallet or another wallet for another exchange or for another company, whatever the case may be, you can actually withdraw by clicking on this withdraw icon. So just click on it right here and click on it and allow it to, to load. So once it loads, you will be able to like, the first thing you want to do is select the wallet you want to withdraw to. The, you select the kind of crypto you want to withdraw. So now, you can see, you can see, if this is withdraw uh, fiat. This is fiat. If you want to withdraw, if, let's say you have the Nigerian era, which is like e-currency in your Binance wallet, you can withdraw it here, which is withdraw fiat. Then you click on withdraw crypto, if what you want to withdraw is crypto. So you click on withdraw crypto, then, so once you click on it, when the, this page pops up, you will be able to like select the kind of crypto you want to withdraw. You can see. So select coin. So let's say you want to withdraw Bitcoin, you select Bitcoin. If you don't want to withdraw Bitcoin, let's say you want to withdraw Litecoin, you select Litecoin, LTC. Let's say you want to withdraw Dogecoin, you select Dogecoin. You can see. If you want to withdraw Shiba, you select Shiba. If you want to withdraw GMT, you select GMT. If what you want to withdraw is XRP, you select XRP. So whatever coin you want to withdraw, if what you want to withdraw is USDT, you select USDT. Right? If you want to withdraw BUSD, you select BUSD. So whatever coin you want to withdraw, 
you select it right here. So let's say for example, you want to draw BTC, you select Bitcoin. Then the address you want to send to, you are going to put it here, right here. You can just select the, you put it, you copy the address and you paste it right here. So let's say you want to send to a Binance user, and you want to use, you don't want to use address. You have some other options you can use, which is that person's Binance email address. You can just select, you can just copy the, you, you, can, you get the, the Binance email address from that person. Let's say you are sending to someone that uses Binance. Just put the email here. And you want to send to him. Or his phone number. This one has a phone number. Or pay ID or Binance ID. So all of these options are available for, if you want to send from Binance to Binance. But if you are not sending to Binance, you are sending to an external wallet different from Binance. So you just come here and click on address copy the person's address and put it here now once you put it here the next thing is to select the network each crypto has a network it works it so for bitcoin i'm going to select the bitcoin network so if what if what you are withdrawing is ethereum so just click on ethereum right here select search for ethereum here and select ethereum then come here put the address copy copy and paste the address here and select network so it's going to give you the it's going to give you a list of the networks available for you to to send ethereum so now what you have to be careful of is that you must make sure that the network you are going to select corresponds with the network of the wallet sent to you by the recipient you understand so you can see so if the recipient selected erc20 network you must select erc20 network here so and it's going to bring you the charge just two dollars to send to the erc20 network and it's going to take five minutes approximately so it's going to give you all the details so whenever i want to send coin whenever i want to withdraw crypto from binance to an address make sure you understand the network uh, of the address you are going to send to, you are sending to, and make sure it is the same network you select right here whenever you are sending. So, that is basically how to withdraw uh, cryptocurrency on Binance. So, you can withdraw crypto and you can withdraw fiat. So, let's talk about how to deposit, how to deposit cryptocurrency into, you, you can see there are some uh notifications of deposit and withdrawals here so when you deposit just go to your wallet overview then click on deposit so it's going to ask you do you want to deposit cryptocurrency or you want to deposit uh, fiat currency and it's going to bring to you other ways by which you can deposit so you can buy crypto with card which i've shown you before or buy via p2p platform which i also have explained earlier in this video so now if you want to deposit if you don't want to through these two means you can deposit crypto or deposit fiat through another means which we are going to watch right now so just click on crypto deposit if you want to deposit cryptocurrency and once the page pops up we are going to see select the coin you want to deposit here so just select if you want to deposit bitcoin just select bitcoin you get you understand so now select network btc network then go to your wallet is going to pop up so you can see the wallet right here so this is the wallet so just copy this wallet and post it wherever you want to send from let's say let's say someone wants to send to you just copy this wallet and give the person and send to the person so that the person can just paste the wallet into his own address and send right to you so once the person sends you are going to want, wait for the coin to confirm and you are going to get a notification once the confirmation is complete. And whenever you receive crypto this way, you are going to get it into your fiat and spot wallet. Fiat and spot wallet. So that's how you deposit crypto into your Binance. If you are depositing or someone is sending to you or you are sending from your external wallet from another wallet, let's say you have other wallet and you have crypto there and you want to deposit them to your binance this is how you do, you do that basically so if not if it's not bitcoin 
Can you select any crypto of your choice or search for, let's say, for example, GMT, Green Metaverse, Metaverse to Token? You, so you select the network, you see the available network. So let's say you want to send through Ethereum network, click on it, then you have the wallet here. You copy the wallet and paste it wherever the coin is being sent from. So that's basically how to deposit wallet uh, crypto into your Binance. So you can deposit fiat currency too. If you have fiat that is like more of a digital fiat currency, you can deposit here, right here. So just select the currency you want to deposit, GBP, AUD, I'm not sure if you can, okay, you can deposit in the Nigerian era too. Just select it and these are the ways by which you can deposit through bank transfer, cash link and through e-wallet cash link. So, that is basically how you can deposit uh, crypto into your Binance. Crypto or fiat into your Binance. So let's just let's go back to the wallet overview and see what next. So after that, after that, the next thing you want to do is look at the market available on Binance and look at how to trade them. Now, you must have known or you must have understood how to deposit withdraw on Binance. Now, let's look at the markets that we have available on Binance where you can trade. Let's look at the coins you can trade. You just click on markets right here and it's going to bring you different available markets on Binance. So now, you can select some coins and put them on your favorite where you can easily access them and look at how they've been performing in the market. You can look at highlight coin, some coins, the new listings, coins that are just listed on Binance. Once a new coin is listed, you can always find them here, right here. Top gainer coin, coins that have been gaining the most over the past 24 hours in the market. You can find them right here on that top gain. You can see KMD 27% and the likes. Top volume coin, coins that have the highest traded volume in the market on Binance. You can find them right here. BTC tops the list. Ethereum then XRP. Also, you can look at all the cryptos we have in the market as listed by Binance right here. You can see the coin, BTC, the price, the coin price is $26,000. The 24 hours difference. How has it been performing over the past 24 hours? It has lost, like it has depreciated by 4% in the past 24 hours. 24 hours volume on Binance, you can see it right here, $18.544 million. Market cap of Bitcoin, you can see it here, $515.9 billion. More details about NFTs and how to trade, you can see it right here. Ethereum, you, you can see every coin we have in the crypto market. You can see everything right here on Binance. So you can click on this, the next page, and the next page, and the next page until you are able to see all the coins and tokens we have in the crypto markets as listed by Binance right here. Also, if you, if you are a sport trader and you want to sports, you can just go to the sports market and see the available coins you can analyze and trade on the Binance sports market. So just click on Spot Markets. And you will see all the plays. So these are the plays available on Spot Market. BDC USDT play, Ethereum USDT, XRP USDT, all the plays available for you to trade on Binance, on the Spot Market on Binance. You'll be able to find them here. So you can look for more and more and more. And analyze. So this simply means that Binance has a lot of options for you to trade on the spot market. A lot of options. So you can see as many as available and select to trade any of them of your choice. Then yeah, let's look at the futures market, the futures trading market. You can see the futures market. I've just clicked on it. You see the coins or the pairs available 
for you to trade on the futures market. So the first thing you want to know is that you have USDM futures and coin M futures. USDM futures simply means that futures trading, which is settled in the United States dollars, which means you the profit you are going to make is settled in USDT. And coin M futures means coins or futures trading, a kind of future trading where whatever you are trading, the profit or loss is settled in a cryptocurrency different from USDT. So now, so you can see USDM future, which is what I trade most time and which is what most or majority of traders in the crypto market trade, especially on this Binance. You can see the available pairs you can trade. There are a lot of them. So once you get to this period, you can see more and more and more and more. So that is how you look for coins or things you want to trade on Binance, whether on the spot market or on the futures market. If you have difficulty understanding the difference between spot trading and futures trading, find a link in the description below where I explained what spot trading is, what futures trading is, and what the similarities and differences between spot and futures trading are. Find the link in the description below and watch that video so that you can get much more value and understand the differences between all these kinds of trading. So now let's let's go to the trading desk. If you want to trade, now you are ready to trade. How do you trade? So just go here. This is the trading desk on Binance. We have different kind of trading. Binance convert, which means you are converting from one coin to another in the fastest way. That's the first. Then you have P2P trading, which I have talked about previously in this video. And if you want to know how to trade uh, P2P, there's also a link in the description below where I explain how you can trade P2P market on Binance. Also, swap farming, which means swapping coins to NBNB. Then you have fan token right here. Binance OTC, over the counter trading as available on Binance is one of the things you can find on the Binance trading desk. Strategy trading, margin trading, and spot trading. But what spot trading is like the most basic kind of trading that is the most important for traders i'm going to like dive in into the spot trading uh platform on binance and you can see what is it means if you have doubt or if you have no knowledge about what spot trading is i also have a video where i explain how to trade the spot market and i put the link in the description below so do well by looking for that link and finding that link so that you can watch that video. So this is basically the spot trading uh, platform on Binance. So you can see there are different coins here you can trade on spot. Different coins. And if you have a specific coin you want to trade, you can see right here I have BTC USDT and I have the chart here as provided by TradingView. TradingView is a platform we use to analyze the market so if you want to trade another coin different from btc you can simply search for it right here so let's say you want to trade gmt you can see gmt btc gmt usdt gmt BUSD. you can select any of this pair you want to trade so basically i want to trade gmt usdt then i select it so it's going to go what you have here called the order book what you have here is what we call the order book which simply means Limit orders, orders that have been sent by different buyers and sellers in the market. That once the client get to all these set orders, the market is going to pick those orders, and the people that set set the orders are going to be put into the market immediately. I'm going to explain that more later on. So now, this is what we call the order book, which means that people that who have set sell orders for GMT USDT here at these different prices and this means that there are people who have set buy orders for the market to buy this pair for them whenever it has reached all those prices that is many of so now you can look at this coin look at the uh the order book then you can analyze the market using this uh icon this trading view provided uh, icon you can use this to analyze the chart 
So let's just draw some horizontal lines. You can draw some horizontal lines right here. You can see. You can edit it just as you do on trading view. You can edit this. You can remove the indicators or hide them. So this is basically for people who know how to analyze the market. You can hide the indicators and do all your analysis right here on Binance. So the beauty of this is that Binance provides you a platform to analyze the market just like instead of you like having to go to trading view you don't actually have to go to trading view the trading view platform you can analyze everything you want to do you can do it on binance and you can analyze how this market has been doing how it has been moving on binance here and make decisions about the trades you want to take yeah so now let's assume you want to set orders so let's let's go back to btc btc usdt let's assume you want to buy btc on the spot trading platform and you have analyzed some things so you can buy btc here and you can sell here so buy btc means that btc usdt means that you have btc as your base currency and usdt as your quote currency and it means you want to buy BTC with USDT. Selling BTC means that you want to sell BTC and change it to USDT. So I hope you understand that. So now, let's say you want to buy BTC. This is where you buy. So you have different kind of orders. So market order means that market order means that you want to buy BTC at the exact price available in the market currently. So you can see here there's a is 20,780 something you can see it's moving so that is mean that means uh market execution so you just put the price you want to buy here for example can just put like 50 dollars that's just an example 50 usdt and click on buy so once you do this you go back to your wallet and you will see that you will have bought btc and there will be btc in your wallet so before you can buy btc with usd it means that you must have BT usdt already in your wallet you get so let's say you have bought btc and you want to sell your btc back to usd you just come to sell btc click on market like you have chosen here and sell you understand so now apart from the market order there are some others you can also use in the crypto market which is one of them is limit order and limit order simply means that let's say you have analyzed the market and you are you are convinced that BTC is going to drop to 26,200 currently is at 26,700 let's say you are convinced from your analysis that BTC is going to drop to 26,200 then you can put the price here that okay I want to buy when the price drop to 26,200 how much do you want to use to buy? Let's say 15 dollars, you put it here and you buy. That's how it is done. So it's going to be a pending order until price gets to that amount you put here. And that is what limit order simply means. So you can buy with a limit order and you can also sell crypto with a limit order. So apart from limit order, we have the stop limits order and the stop limits order you have two prices the stop price and the limit price and sometimes stop price and limit price can be the same which means that you want to you want the price of bdc to get to a certain point before you set an order so sometimes let's say you want the price to get to twenty six thousand four. Then you are not exactly buying at 26,004, you want to buy at 26,350. So you can put the stop price to be 26,004, which is the market is going to let you know when it gets to that price, and the limit price at 26,002, where exactly you are going to buy. So the stop price and limit price can also be the same. And sometimes you use the stop price to set stop loss. You use to set your stop loss. So I actually made a video explaining all these orders, explaining how these orders are set and what they mean. So you can watch the video and you can find the link to that video also in the description 
below. So basically, if you want to do spot trading, this is where you do it. This is the spot trading interface, and this is how exactly you buy crypto, whether it is Bitcoin, whatever coin you want to buy, just come here, search for it, and uh, you do you buy it or sell it, or as whatever the case may be. So now let's move to futures trading. So if you want to trade futures on Binance, just come to this place, derivatives, click on USDM Fusion. And I explained that we have USDM and Coin M Fusion, and I've explained the meaning of both to you. So just click on USDM Futures, and Binance is going to bring you the future trading interface. And you know, future trading simply is different from spot trading. If you want to understand the difference, like I said earlier, find a link to that video where I explained spot trading and future trading in the description, and also find a link to a video where I explain how to trade futures extensively in the description below. So this is futures trading platform, and you know futures is a leverage based trading where you can use leverage to multiply your profits, and this affects your loss too. And you can use leverage to multiply your profit just here. Then you have two kind of futures trading. I explained that in my future trading video. You have the cross margin and isolated margin. You select your margin and you can also set market limit and stop limit orders whenever you are trading futures, just like you have it in the spot market too. Now you also have the other book for futures trading. So I want you to know that spot trading is entirely different from future trading and spot market. Is entirely different from futures market. So if you want to trade futures, make sure you analyze the futures market. And if you want to trade sports, make sure you analyze the sports market. So also, like we have in sports, you can also the analyze the market here with the trading view platform interface. Yes, okay, good. You can use all the tools we use on trading views to analyze this market. You can use indicators and do everything you do on trading view to analyze the market on Binance. so literally you balance is all you need to like trade the market whenever you are trading on Binance. you don't actually need to go to trading view or any other platform to analyze the market so that is basically how to trade on futures on Binance. and you have to understand that when it comes to futures you are either buying long or you are selling short so buying long means you are predicting now, you are looking at the market to go, to move in the bullish direction. And once it does that, you make profit. But once the market does not move in the direction you have predicted is going to move, you are going to be making a loss. So all these things are explained in the futures trading video I have made. So find the link to that video in the description below, watch it and benefit from it. It. So now, aside this, there are some other things you can do on Binance. Aside all the things I have mentioned, Binance has a lot of features, which most most of these features can need to be explained with separate videos. And most of these features, I'm going to explain them on my channel. So stay tuned to this channel. Make sure you like this video so that you help uh, YouTube promote it to other people. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and look forward to many more educational content about cryptocurrency, about the cryptocurrency market. So now, there are some other things you can do on Binance. Aside the things I've mentioned, you can go to Binance Academy and learn a few more things about the cryptocurrency market. You can use the trust wallets as provided by Binance. You can get the Binance gift cards, Binance Lite, Live Research, Dex, Cloud, and many other things on Binance. You can also do the NFTs on Binance if you are an NFT person. Binance has an NFT platform where you can do NFTs and stuff like that. So Binance also has a finance based stuffs like Binance card. Binance has a card that you can use. You can put crypto in the card and use it anywhere in the world. Binance offers crypto loans, Binance Pay, and also Binance gift card. So all these things are things you can do on Binance and be rest assured that I'm going to make videos subsequently about most of all other features and other things that you can do on Binance but basically as a crypto trader 
I've explained all the things that you need to do on Binance and how to do them in this video and I hope you enjoyed this video. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, like this video, smash the like button, like, like and like, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.